in during the break, Only Ice Coffee did actually send me a tip of $5. and said he's not going to be here tonight. He cannot be here to help out to moderate or to chill. But he did say, be careful what you say between the streams because the moderators are checking out the chat between the streams. And in particular, there was someone between the streams who called someone, and I quote, a cucked pay pig. I wholeheartedly agree with Only Ice Coffee's sentiment that, yeah, you can't just do that. That is not allowed, or you're an idiot, to come in here and insult people with just because the stream's not on, you have to be a moron. So, be careful what you say, especially when uh, you say when the stream is offline, you are stupid if you think no one's checking, okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, I really need your support. I talked about this at length on today's earlier stream, okay? But I'll give it to you in a nutshell. I don't know if Twitch is going to pay me the money that I earned the first three weeks of April before they kicked me out of the partnership program, okay? I don't know. The problem is if they don't, I'm not going to have money to pay my mortgage this month. That's just me being real with you. Uh, it sucks, but that's just the situation. Usually at the 15th of the month, Twitch pays me, and I immediately pay my mortgage with that, and I'm good to go. But if they don't, which they very likely may not, due to a little bit of communication that I've had with them, it seems like they're implying that I'm not, then I'm pretty screwed. So, please support the streams. Some people have been very skeptical saying, why am I putting $200 tips goals on every stream? This is why, because not only do I need to raise enough to pay the bills that I'm paying now, I need to save up to be able to pay my mortgage in the middle of this month, which I'm now screwed because the money I usually get for it, I'm not gonna have, they're literally stealing it from me if they withhold this money, okay? So, please, are we ready to start with Divinity 2? I hope so. Again, guys, please support the stream tonight. I need support tonight. I need to hit that tip skull so we can continue on here on Twitch. Have a great streaming week. Don't have to worry in the back of my head about how am I going to pay my goddamn mortgage this month. Okay? And it's not your fault at all. It's not. All I'm asking for is that for those who used to contribute, who used to sub and cheer, to please convert that over to tipping. Don't listen. And this is, we had a big discussion about this on the pre-stream this morning. There's apparently a bunch of fucking crazy conspiracy theories out there about you get doxxed if you tip. It's completely 100% false. It's just as bad as the conspiracy theories about, oh my god, you're going to have insanely bad side effects and risk your life if you take a fucking vaccine for COVID. It's ridiculous. It's stupid thought. There's no factual basis for it. <laughs> Alright, are we ready? I'm not going to wear headphones tonight. I wore headphones earlier today for near replicant, so no headphones tonight. So, I mean, same thing. I couldn't believe it this morning. I said to people up front on my pre-stream, I was like, why wouldn't you, if you used to cheer and sub, why wouldn't you tip me? There was like a dozen people who were like, oh, because you get doxxed when you tip. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? That doesn't happen. L PayPal would be legally liable if they gave out your personal account information and when you tip someone. His head with a sign. So who was it that sent you? Gal? Cared? Well, you can tell him that. He squints and tilts his head. Duh. I will likely be doing things that are patron exclusive in the future, just not right now. Okay, so just so you know to forewarn you, if you pledge to my Patreon, you can still get cool perks. For example, you can get your question answered on Ask the King, my Q&A show. You can get a private Q&A video made, but it would not affect any current events that are running simply because they're already in progress. Okay, maybe there'll be new ones in the future coming up. Okay, hello, Cutie Wootsie. Good evening. Good to see you. I reckon I could help you out, depending on what you can do for me. Um... I had leftover shirts from Project 7 that had been sitting around in storage for four years. And I said, well, I gotta get rid of these damn things. They're just sitting around. So I actually would autograph them for a certain uh, pledge level. Um, even then, they weren't popular. Being honest, like, maybe I, I maybe two to three a month I would do. Um, so, no, it never really occurred to me that anyone would want an autographed piece of merch from me and that it would be, like, something people would desire. The thing is... The merch that I sell, for example, from Teespring, comes directly from Teespring. It's custom made. When you order it, then they create it and they send it to you. It's not like, oh, there's a warehouse full of DSP shirts somewhere. When you order it, they just grab it out of the box and send it to you. You see what I'm saying? Um, so because of that, I don't have anything to autograph. I, it's not like I could get a shirt, autograph it, and send it to you. I don't have the shirts. They come directly from Teespring. And by the way, when I did 
at one point do those shirts. The shipping cost is astronomical. There were people, whenever it was someone who wasn't in the United States, if they were in Canada or Great Britain or Europe or other places, the shipping cost of the shirt would exceed $20. But guess how much the perk was to get the shirt? $20. So people would spend 20 bucks and I would lose money on that, sending that shirt to them. <laughs> Which is why I stopped doing it. That's why if you want a piece of merch, you got to buy it direct from Teespring. They handle the shipping, not me. I can't out of pocket ship stuff around the world. It's too expensive. That's why I stopped doing it. To, to have an axe by my front door in case a robber breaks in? Yes, a giant medieval axe. It's huge. It's a huge thing. Giant, yo, I think they actually call it a halberd. It's awesome. I also have a full suit of armor I can jump into at any moment, all right, to protect myself from any oncomers when, you know, they're having to break into my house, okay? <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, I received an anonymous tip. I need to make sure that it's real before I get too excited about this, only because earlier today, I received a very generous tip that was completely unverified and I couldn't accept it. And it sucked ass that that happened. So I need to take a look at it to make sure it's a verified tip before I can get too excited. And there's a gnat in here, son of a bitch. I had a napkin in my fucking office. That pisses me off. Let's take a look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a verified tip. It is a hundred dollar verified tip from an anonymous person. They said vest time. Thank you to whoever the heck this is. I appreciate that. They, they purposely kept their name anonymous. I have no information about them whatsoever. Boom. And yes, that is the biggest tip of the stream, of course. Boom. We get a vest and we get uh, glasses, right? Now, let's see. Thank you very much again to whoever that was. I don't... I, I have no idea who it is. Thank you. That really, 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 really helps right now. Okay? Boom. Wore the denim vest earlier today. Um, wore the gray vest the other day. Recently, I also believe I wore the red vest. And the platinum? I'm trying to remember the last time I wore the beige. I think maybe we'll just wear the nice beige tonight. What do you think? Nice beige vest, the original, the originator. There we go. <laughs> Jerk store says, am I familiar with Washington State divorce laws? Will Melinda take Bill Gates to the cleaners? I have no idea. I don't know about the Washington State divorce laws. No, I don't. <laughs> no. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't even mention it. We are into the second half of tonight's stream. We've got about roughly 45 minutes left on tonight's stream. And obviously, I would like to say thank you to everyone who's contributed. Uh, to the anonymous $100 tipper, thank you so much. Everyone else who contributed as well, including Guts, who's the last tipper, thank you. We're trying to hit the tip skull tonight. I'm trying to make it so I hit every tip skull this week to help me coming up with my mortgage because I don't even know what's going to happen with Twitch. I don't know if they're going to pay me or not for all the work that I did last last month after being uh, losing my partnership. So if you can support tonight and you're liking the fact that I'm continuing on with this playthrough despite the debacle that we had last week, please by all means support the stream and thank you in advance. Let's see if we can hit the tip skull. I really hope we can. All right? <clears throat> all right. Now. <sighs> he leaves me alone, but... All right, guys, roughly half an hour left on the stream. Thanks for being a great stream audience. Thank you to those who did support the stream tonight. Again, we really good when we hit the tips goal tonight. It would be tremendous if we could. It would help out an amazing amount if we could. All right? If you like the stream, you like that I'm toughing it out in Divinity 2, please support the stream if you can tonight. All right? <clears throat> okay. 
Thank you for the tip, CM Fool. I want to stay on Twitch. I like being here. I like the community I built. I could get banned from here at any moment. You guys realize that, right? Like, on and a, and a whim. Someone at Twitch could just snap their fingers like this and, and keep me from the site. They did it with my partnership with no notice and no warning and no reasoning. So they could do it with that, with, this, with my viewers, my, my ability to stream here as well. And I have no power over it. They can just say goodbye. So, even if I want to stay, it may not be a, a situation of where I have any power to control it. You see what I mean? Now, guys, I only have about 15 minutes left on the stream. It's not likely I'll actually win this fight in that time frame. Just being honest, I don't think I'm going to win this fight in that time frame. I mean, give it a shot. <clears throat> Mandalorian Warlord says maybe hang the YouTube play button on the wall behind me and buy a shelf with some figures behind me or cheap LED lights. My setup would look sick. You mean like every other streamer does? Like I started looking and like every streamer has exactly the same setup where they put like decorations behind them with LED lights. Every fucking streamer does that. It adds nothing to the streams at all. It just makes them all look like they all copied each other because they have no originality. So why would I want to do what everybody else already fucking does? I don't have time. <clears throat> okay. All right. I would like to say thank you guys for the help tonight, really. Because now I'm advanced, and I do not feel at all like I wasted tonight. Tonight was actually like 100% progress. Things are going well. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you to the support. Obviously, the anonymous $100 tipper. Thank you. If it wasn't for the anonymous, anonymous $100 tipper... Actually, support tonight would have been insanely bad. It would have been. This tipper basically helped me out tremendously tonight, so thank you whoever you are. I mean, we didn't hit the tips goal, but at least support was pretty, you know, pretty decent. So I'm not in any way, shape, or form dissatisfied tonight. I felt this was a really good stream. Okay. <clears throat> thank you very much, guys, for a good stream. Until next time, which will be roughly in a week, Divinity 2. Thanks. All right. All right, everybody. Please, if you can, support the streams this week. I need major support this week. If I don't get it, I might not be able to pay my mortgage and stuff come the middle of the month. I really need your help because I don't know what Twitch is going to do in regards to the money that I earned. <laughs> and I don't know if they're going to, quite frankly. So I need your help in the next week and a half. Hopefully, you know, things do turn out well. But if not, I'm going to be screwed. So... Please, if you can, <clears throat> support me here on the streams, all right? I will see you in the AM for Eternal. Have a good evening. If you missed any portion of this stream, you can go over to DSP Gaming and check it out, all right? All right, guys, thank you very much. Have a good evening. I will see you in the morning for Eternal. Peace out. <clears throat>